Welcome back to the Success in Trucking podcast powered by ES. Hello again, everybody. I'm Greg Thompson. And in this edition of the podcast, we'll be talking with Danny Vernon, the Director of Truck Sales and Finance at ES. Danny will be giving us his perspective on what's happening in the truck market this year. And you'll also hear Danny share his thoughts on the value of having the opportunity to be face-to-face with the folks attending this year's Expedite Expo. Of course, as we've shared with you in previous episodes of this series, the 2023 edition of the Expedite Expo will take place in Fort Wayne, Indiana on July 21st and July 22nd. Once again this year, ES will be serving as the presenting sponsor of the Expedite Expo. And ES will also be hosting the company's annual Insight Dinner at the Expo on Friday, July 21st. Following our interview with Danny, you can hear details on how you can register for the Expedite Expo and the Insight Dinner at the Expo. Right now, we're ready to take you to our conversation with Danny Vernon, the Director of Truck Sales and Finance at ES. Danny Vernon now joins us on the Success in Trucking podcast. Danny, it's great to have you back here on the Success in Trucking podcast. It's been a while since we had a chance to catch up. Yes, it is, Greg. It's good to be here. Excited about the expo this year. Excited about what's going on at ES and everything that we have to offer. Looking forward to getting back that way. Man, that's great. Danny, since it's been a while since you and I have talked and you've been on the podcast, I want to kind of catch up on things in your world. Tell us, first of all, how things have been going for you and your team in 2023. What does the truck market look like these days? Well, the truck market has been challenging, but it's been just changing. Since COVID, we've had a shakeup in the supply chain and manufacturing of trucks. One of the key things that has affected everyone has been the availability of new trucks. So that combined with uh, new challenges with financing trucks with higher rates, larger down payments, difficulty to qualify has affected a lot of people in the industry. So the market has changed somewhat. Fortunately, yes, we do have access to equipment, both new and used, for the programs that we have set up to be able to provide an opportunity for professional drivers to gain access to ownership opportunities. I'm glad you touched on both truck availability and the price of money. And as I mentioned to you before we got rolling, one of the podcasts in this series before the Expo is with Steve and Roger talking about financing. Not to delve too deep into it, but you mentioned it. Financing and interest rates have gone up across the market. But one of the really great things about the ES program is that ES has a different type of credit box. And I would think that that would be very beneficial for folks in these times. Oh, yes, that's for sure, Greg. I mean, our commitment has always been to professional drivers out there to help them realize the dream of ownership by removing certain barriers and providing support and services to help them be successful. So we have equipment availability sometimes when others do not in the current marketplace. And we also have access to the financing and what we like to call relationship lending, which involves getting to know the people and financing people based on their projected success. Exactly. And you mentioned the programs, say like the PTO, where these are trucks that ES owns and they're running under the authority of one of your partner carriers. Again, ES is not a trucking company. You guys don't have a motor carrier authority. You guys don't dispatch loads. You work with great partner carriers. In doing that, you have folks that come into your program, and as you mentioned, you guys are able to look at them and see if they're able to run a successful P&L, a good business, to see if you want to move forward with them and they want to move forward with you. When you look at the programs out there, Danny, this is something that is so unique and is so beneficial for all parties involved because both sides are able to figure out exactly where they need to be and what it's all about. Yes, Greg, our path to ownership program has been successful for many years, and it is that. It's a path to ownership whereby we allow people to actually try it before they buy it, so to speak, by getting into one of our fleet trucks and operating that piece of equipment at a motor carrier that we have a relationship with for a period of time to give them a comfort level with the equipment and the motor carrier, the freight, and with ES and the services and support that we provide. It's like I always tell people when I talk to them, it's like a three-legged stool. 
if you knock one of those legs out from under you, then you don't have a stool anymore. It's going to fall over. So it's very important that everybody's on board and on the same page. And that's the contractor or the professional driver, ES, and the motor carrier. So we all three have to be in a good position before we can move forward. And the past ownership program just allows people to do that and get a comfort level both with us and us with them before we go into a financial agreement to finance a piece of equipment for them. Well, Danny, you mentioned earlier, it's relationships. It's getting to know folks. It's getting to build that relationship build that trust on both sides. And speaking of relationships, I know a lot of those start at the Expedite Expo. You've been going there for several years now with the ES team. Tell us about going to the Expo this year in 2023, what folks are going to be able to see from the truck sales booth at the Expo and where that truck sales booth is going to be. Sure, Greg. I'm excited about going back this year. I have been for several years, and it's a good opportunity to meet up with some old friends, make some new ones, connect with the motor carriers, share some insights, learn about new things. The ES booth is going to be booth 418 inside the Expo Center or the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So booth 418 is the ES booth. ES Truck Sales will have a separate booth, and it's number 606, and you can pull that up on the website and see where that's located. We always have some good floor decals on the floor of the expo that direct you right to the booth if you walk in the front door. We're just excited to, like I say, meet up with some old friends and make some new ones. That's where it all starts, building the relationships, and a lot of those do start there at the expo and transition into uh, long-term relationships. So, Danny, if I recall correctly, the ES truck sales booth always has equipment there that you can actually go in, look around, even get behind the wheel. You can't drive it, but you can get that feel behind the wheel, sit in the driver's seat. What equipment are you going to have there this year? We haven't finalized it, Greg, but I believe that we're definitely going to have a new tractor, a Class 8 tractor in the booth from Stoops Freightliner. We usually try to have a couple straight trucks or expediter trucks that are representative of what we have available, both to operate through our path to ownership program and to purchase. So generally, we're going to have three trucks is going to be our goal. And the truck sales booth and the ES booth will have a new expediter truck in that booth for people to jump into and explore and see what's available. Three trucks on site. That's very cool. And I would think that starts some of those first conversations. So if we could take us inside some of the first conversations that you have with people either at the ES booth or at the truck sales booth when they're talking about the programs, when they're talking about, hey, I think this could be for me. I'd like to own that truck. Sure, Greg. One of the things I like to do is just ask them what their goals are and what their plans are, what they like to do and where they are in the process of doing their research. Are they currently driving a truck? What type of truck? What brought them to the expo? Why are they interested in expediting? Just kind of build that relationship to find out what their needs are. And then we can look at some trucks where we can also talk about the expediter services program and what we have available as far as financing, equipment, some of the things that we offer offer through our owner operator program, which is a complete support system. So once you purchase a truck and start operating a truck, having the equipment's one thing, but being able to continue to be successful in the industry, operating that equipment when you come up on a hurdle, trucking's hard. So don't get me wrong. I mean, there's going to be issues down the road and hurdles that you're going to have to jump over to be successful. And that's where we come in. We have a support system out there. We have availability to fuel discounts. We'll talk to them about some great discounts on fuel, insurance. We have a main point of contact here at ES for everybody that's in a truck that they can reach out to and gain access to other information that may help them with that particular problem, whether it be a breakdown or service needed on the truck, freight lane advice anything to do with settlements. Everybody's worried about their pay, right? So it's good to have somebody they can contact to let them know about that. We've got repair maintenance manager that can talk to them anytime they need them. We have parts and maintenance discounts, a shop network that can give them some discounts and access to good service for the truck, a tire program whenever they need tires. That's a national discounts. 
we even have the after hours emergency lines. So if someone breaks down, they're not just stuck out there alone, not having to get the Google app out and search for the nearest truck stop or tow truck or truck service. They can call us and we can get them headed in the right direction. All sorts of services and benefits. I'm director of truck sales and finance, but when I'm talking to people at the expo, I'm talking to them about our entire program, the whole platform of services and support that we offer that can help them be successful. That's what really is important to them. And I think to be successful, you've got to be able to have access to some support and some benefits that will help you achieve those goals. And we do provide a lot of that. Danny, you just said something a moment ago that made me smile when you said, Trucking's not easy. That's one of those things that it's not a news flash for those of us who've been around this industry for a long time. But if you're just getting into it and you're an entrepreneur, trucking is one of those things that it's not a job. It's not just a business. It's a real commitment to a lifestyle in many ways because it really requires you to go all in. And one of the cool things about the ES program, as you were talking about, is that it is comprehensive. It does recognize that trucking is hard. You guys work very diligently, very hard to really take a lot of that steep grade out of the challenges of the industry. Yeah, I think what we offer takes a lot of the edge off of trucking and allows people to do what their dream is, and that's to operate a truck profitably in this industry. Members of the ES community have access to the resources and support to be able to overcome some hurdles that they're going to encounter, and that's very important these days. Our motto is never stand alone, so that's very important to us that those members of our community, and we do call it a community because we're like family. We're supporting each other. Those people, they don't work for us. We work for them. If they're not successful, we're not successful. So our goal is to support them any way we can. So, Danny, when I hear you share about the community and all the things that ES brings to folks that are in the community, when you're at the expo or you're on the phone in the office and somebody's talking to you about buying a truck, getting into the program, what you're doing is not just selling a truck. You are offering them this community of support. Is that correct? Yes, that's absolutely correct, Greg. I mean, every person that's a member of our community, whether they operate in a fleet of trucks or they're just a one truck owner that came on as a driver, we operate from the truck up. Our company is focused in the cab of the truck up. So we're focused on helping those contractors to be successful any way we can with our community services and benefits that we offer. Just being there for them. I mean, sometimes it's tough in a truck and you're just out there on the road by yourself if you're solo or you got your teammate with you and you're out two, three weeks at a time away from home. It can just be tough and sometimes people just need somebody to talk to. So we're there for them. Whether it's a real need or they just need to call in and say, how's it going? We've got somebody that they can talk to. And that does mean a lot these days. Well, Danny, speaking of community, one of the big ES community events that happens during the year is the Insight Dinner at the Expo. This is a place where you've got folks that are in your community who are attending the Expo who may come back and, as you said, see old friends, but it is an opportunity for the new folks that are looking at your program, new folks that are getting introduced to ES, it's an opportunity for them to sit down and really take in what the community is all about. Can you talk to us a little bit about the dinner, the highlights, what's good about it? What are your thoughts? Sure, that is a highlight of our attendance there. You can sign up on our website to gain access to the dinner. It's free. It's a great place to connect and share insights. Obviously, we'll have some of our motor carrier representatives there in the room. We'll have some of our current members of the community will be there to share their experiences. And then the bulk of the people will probably be new people that are just getting introduced to us through the expo or other means that just want to find out more. So it's a great environment to learn about us and what we offer. We got some good food always. I think we had nearly 200 people there last year. I can't remember exactly the number, but we had a good crowd. Expect more this year. This year, we're going to have Leah Shaver. She's the president and CEO of National Transportation Institute in attendance. And she's very informative and professional. And we depend on Leah for a lot of support and information into our program as well. So it'll be exciting to listen to what she has to say. 
It's just going to be a good time. Jeff Tacker, our chief operating officer and executive vice president, will be speaking give you a little background on how we started the whole story up through today and into the future i'm sure there'll be other speakers as well but it's just a great forum great event it'll be informative a place to learn a place to get your belly full and also get some prizes because we always have some good prizes we hand out there at the end of it so a lot of reasons to attend danny you just mentioned the prizes and we had an opportunity to have kelly fowler and bobby leach on you know from past years that Kelly gets to hand out a lot of this. You're involved in it. I believe that one of the things that I said about Kelly is she's kind of become the Vanna White of ES during that period <laughs> of time. Because you guys have some great vendor prizes. It is a fun night. And what's cool about it, as you mentioned, is the fact that you can talk to people who have gone through the program if you're thinking about it, looking at it, and seeing that it is real, that it is what you guys say it is. You guys back up what you tell folks, and it does make people's dreams come true. I would think that just being in that room, being in that atmosphere, and seeing that exchange of ideas, meeting folks, that's got to be a highlight of the year for you. Oh, yes, it is. One thing about the Insight Dinner at the Expo is everybody there in attendance is going to come away with something. You might be a t-shirt and a hat all the way up to a new career. So there's something for everybody. Now, Danny, before we run, I've got a couple more questions to throw at you. First of all, what do you like most about the Expedite Expo? Greg, I mean, no doubt about it. It's just being able to rub shoulders with the people that are there. A lot of times we're isolated to our offices here. We don't travel a lot. So it's a lot of phone conversations and emails as far as being in contact with the contractors and people who are members of our community here. But the expo allows us to see them in person again and talk about how things have been going. Just a venue outside of the ordinary office where it's a little more relaxed you're able to catch up, so to speak. That's probably my favorite part of the show is to be able to reconnect and then also to create new opportunities for people and possibility of new opportunities. Right. The opportunity to shake a hand, to look folks eye to eye, be face to face with them, have those conversations. Because I would think over the years that those conversations at the expo have led, as you said just a couple moments ago, to a new career for people who attended. Is that correct? Oh, absolutely. That is great. Now, knowing that you're the director of truck sales and finance, I have to ask you this question. It's a question that I will ask Jason Williams nearly every time he comes on the podcast, CEO and co-founder of ES. And that is this, is now a good time to buy a truck? It's always a good time to buy a truck when you can find the right truck, the right place to operate the truck, i.e. the motor carrier. It's going to provide you a consistent amount of freight so that you can be successful and where you can partner up with someone like us, ES, who offers services and benefits that will help you be successful on that journey. Even in the down times, bad economies and whatever, our company seems to excel through those times because people gravitate towards this type of environment where they have the support that they need to be successful. And I think that's very important to us. Any time is a good time to buy a truck. As I hear you say that and talking about, again, the support, you guys, ES, is a safe harbor for folks that are looking to make that transition in ownership. Yes, we are. Just because of the services and benefits that we offer, the support that we offer through our community, it is a safer place to be versus just going to a dealership and buying a truck and getting your own authority and going out there on your own. The environment is tough without some type of support, unless you just got an endless amount of cash or have a lot of experience in the industry. It's tough. We knock down some of the barriers and then help hold people up in the tough times to get them through it. And I think that's where we accept. Danny, we've really enjoyed spending time with you and hearing the updates and excited about seeing you on site at the Expedite Expo coming up July 21st and 22nd in Fort Wayne. And I want to ask you, if you had any closing thoughts? Yeah, Greg. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody at the Expo and at the Insight Dinner. Don't forget to register for that. It's a great time to buy a truck, but you don't need to wait till the expo to buy a truck or find out about what we have to offer. You can give us a call for more information anytime. Our number is 877-349-9303. 
My extension is 120. Or, of course, you can visit us on the web at essuccessintrucking.com or go directly to the truck sales website to see what we have available there at estrucksales.com. That's our interview with Danny Vernon, the Director of Truck Sales and Finance at ES. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Danny for his time and perspective. Now, folks, at the opening of the podcast, we told you about the Expedite Expo and the Insight Dinner at the Expo coming up in July. The Expedite Expo will be held on July 21st and July 22nd in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The Insight Dinner at the Expo will take place on Friday, July 21st. Now, if you're interested in joining ES at the Expedite Expo and being a part of the Insight Dinner at the Expo, we'd like to invite you to visit the front page of the company's website, essuccessintrucking.com. From the front page of essuccessintrucking.com, you'll be able to access the Events tab. And once you're on the Events page for the Insight Dinner at the Expo, you'll see the information on how you can register for the dinner. ES also has a link in this section of the website to register for the Expedite Expo. And as always, you can register for the Expedite Expo by visiting the following website, expeditexpo.com. That's expeditexpo.com. While both the Expedite Expo and the Insight Dinner are free events, the Expo and the Insight Dinner do require a registration. Now, if you're listening to us on Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeart, or Google Podcasts, we'd like to invite you to subscribe to the Success in Trucking Podcast. Once you become a subscriber, you'll be notified whenever we post a new episode. And finally, folks, thanks for spending part of your day with us here on the Success in Trucking Podcast, powered by ES.